Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is your full moon harvest reading, which took place today, the 10th of September, at the peak was nine, um, 5.59 in the morning, and it's in Pisces. So it's, you know, seeing through illusions, going with your gut instinct, going with your intuition. Also a time of insecurity, so, you know, just be aware of that. And especially if you have Pisces in your chart, especially if it's in your moon sign, you want to watch that reading. Okay? So, for my Aquarians, we're going to see what is coming towards you during this full moon energy, which lasts a few weeks. What you need to harvest. 38. A card of 11. Lizard spirit. Dream the world into being. And card of 12, singing your own song. So I already feel like you're in a great energy, like high energy vibration. Dreaming and singing your own song. Attitude is gratitude. Putting it out there to the universe so they can bring you blessings based on the, you know, the energy that they're catching on from you. Yeah, see, garden and the gate. It's like you're very content and happy where you are, but just beyond that gate, there's the unknown. It's like the sun is shining, there's birds over there, so there's butterflies. But what's over there? You just have to have faith that it's meant for you. A card of three, so we have two threes here already. Oh, look at this. I wanted to fly right out. The Empress, Goddess of Love. So you could have Libra in your chart. And this is Justice. You definitely could have Libra in your chart or you're dealing with a Libra. Something that's going to happen within one to two weeks and or during the fall. September 22nd to October 21st. Aquarius, this is big. I feel like there's love coming towards you. I don't even know if I should put them back. For my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements during this harvest full moon. Yeah, there's something new on the horizon when it comes to love for you. There's communication and action being taken. There could be somebody traveling towards you. But look at the bottom of the deck. There they are again. They're meant to be here. I'm going to put them out. There's something coming towards you. And Aquarius, this is right off the bat. I mean, Empress is the goddess of love. I've got to say, it's about romance. For those of you in a connection, I feel like it's going to be very intense when it comes to emotions, um, feelings, lust. But there is a brand new beginning coming towards you. And it's, the person is very ambitious about coming towards you. Like they just want to, they just want to make that move. They want it to be done and over with so you can grow from it. So you can become established. They're coming towards you established. I feel like at one point they found themselves on a crossroad. Like what journey is truly meant for them? The path they've chosen is their, it's the path that they're going to find you on. All right. I didn't have a reading story out like this yet. And I'm like a few in, so I kind of like love this energy for you guys. It's, see what I mean? It's like your vibration is really so high right now. You know, it's so high right now that the universe is bringing you in blessings. All right, spirit. The energy of my Aquarians. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus placement. For some of you, it could be a best friend. Someone that you consider a part of your soul tribe. They just get you. 
but it's also you could be meeting this person while you're out with your friends. A reason to celebrate. I feel like you're going to ca be caught off guard when this comes towards you. What is the energy around my Aquarians during this harvest for me? 11-11. The Four of Wands. So you have 11 here and 11, 11 here. Stability. Happy home life. Rejoicing. Being content. Having your heart chakra completely open with all this green energy. Being stable. Being humble. And there's somebody coming towards you because they want to work on something with you. I feel it's when pigs fly, it's going to be somebody that you can completely do not expect. To come towards you. What does the Aquarius need to harvest? But look at this. See, you're feeling grounded. You're feeling established. You've achieved a lot. You've completely worked on your finances and your career. This could also be an Earth sign coming towards you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They're coming in for the win, if that's the case. But this is also you and your vibration high. Winning at all costs, being noticed. People checking you out, noticing you when you walk into a room. You're very confident. And what does my Aquarius mean to let go of? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, see, let go of the idea that you are not going to have this equal give and take. <clears throat> for those of you that can pay it forward, pay it forward during this time, keep that vibration high. Not so that you receive more additional blessings, but so that you, you have that in your soul. You have that gift of that blessing of that miracle within yourself. Pay it forward if you can. If you see somebody struggling, paying their bill at, you know, at their restaurant. I just did this a couple weeks ago. And it takes some talking to him with my boyfriend, but, you know, he walked away and this couple was struggling. And I, I just know how it feels when you're not in the best energy and when you're struggling. And I, I just said to the waitress, you know, are they struggling paying your, their bill? And she said, yeah, they used a few credit cards. It's not really, you know, they're not going through. And I said, can you just not bring any attention to it, but can you just pay for it? Let it know that it was taken care of and that they can go. And I wanted this all done before my boyfriend got back. But as soon as he got back, he knew. You paid their bill. And it's just like, if you have it, give it forward. Hold the door for somebody. You know, if financially you don't have it. Hold the door, smile at someone. You could be the only person smiling at them that day. But just pay it forward when you can. I feel like there is somebody that might have wore a mask when it came to you. They might not have let you know how they felt. This could be a friend that's coming towards you to let you know how they feel about you. Yeah, there is a brand new beginning on the horizon for you guys. For my Aquarian spirit, please clarify what is coming towards them for this harvest full moon. Yep, you've planted the seeds. You've done the work. And now you're just sitting back and waiting for things to come to fruition. You've raised your vibration and you've manif like you've put it out there in your feelings and your emotions. And for those of you that really are in tune with my readings, you've probably started manifesting and you're waiting for something to come to fruition. And it is during this harvest full moon. There is some kind of communication coming in. For some of you, it's going to be about love. For others of you, it's going to be... Something that you've put out there to the universe that you want, and it's coming to fruition. For some of you, it's about heartbreak. This person coming towards you, they could have caused you heartbreak. Or it could be you being heartbroken over something that didn't work. In your favor, like something that you had your heart set on that didn't work. Closing out those chapters. Seeing through those illusions 
and allowing a brand new beginning to start for yourself. Maybe with someone romantically, healing and being patient, being grounded, having your foot in the water, not completely taking it out, but allowing yourself some time to heal. And it's slow and steady coming in. Like I said, could be an earth sign, but they're slow and steady making their way towards you. They're coming in grounded and they have an offer. It could be career related. It could be um, employment related. It could be finances related. It could be about love because spirit is shining through cups for someone. And this also could be you receiving a few offers and spirit's going to show you the light on which offer, which journey is meant for you, which path that you need to take. There's something coming to fruition during this harvest full moon. Just go with your gut and go with your instincts. Because for some of you, it is very well going to be about love. You see that? But for those of you who are already in connections, there's just going to be an intense city, like intense, intense vibration between the two of you. Just so much love and affection, support. It's harvesting. It's abundance. All right, guys. And it's in Pisces, emotions. Let me know how it resonates. I will be back for many more readings. Stay safe.